You know that the best weapon that we have against the devil is, is pretty obvious. I think you know what it is, but it's God's word. Psalm 119.11, the message translation says, I've banked your promises in the vault of my heart so that I won't sin. The more of this book, the more of this book, the Bible, that we get into our minds, the more defenses that we will have against temptation. I'd even challenge you to memorize scripture because Jesus knew scripture. He had it memorized. Every single time that Satan would tempt Jesus, Jesus would quote a Bible verse back at him. I know a lot of you know that, but all three verses that Jesus quoted, they were from the book of Deuteronomy. He quoted verses that God had given the children of Israel when they were in the wilderness, when they were in the desert. Is it ironic? Maybe it's not ironic. I think God planned it this way. That Jesus quoted those exact same scriptures when he was in the wilderness. When Satan comes and he tempts you, we can't say, well, you know, I got a pocket Bible around here somewhere. I got something around here that might work. No, no. That's not, how, that's not how we're gonna be able to defeat that temptation. If we have it memorized, the Holy Spirit can help us remember. It's not magic. It, you, you, can, you can get a cheat sheet you want, or we could be prepped, studied for the test. Let's say you have a problem with anger and it, something just triggers you. Go get a Bible verse on anger, write it on a post-it note, put it on your, your mirror in the bathroom, whatever you have to do, read it constantly and memorize it. And the Holy Spirit will bring it back to your mind. And now you don't just have temptation, but you have a weapon to fight it with. The Bible is sitting on a shelf. It's great. It's a paperweight. Just sitting on, on your, you know, your nightstand or something. No, the Bible becomes a, a sword. It becomes the sword of the spirit when that word gets in our mind and our heart. We're trying to fight the devil without any weapons if we don't know the Bible. Memorize it, put it in your mind, bank it in your heart. Do it.